I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual, and it's great to be joined in person by Grant Dewey, our head of municipal capital markets. Thank you for taking some time to talk about the end of the year, a little bit of an outlook into 2024. This will be our last video for 2023. Uh, we could talk about the course of the year. Really, uh, we had a whole year's worth of activity stuffed into just the last three months in Q4. What stood out to you? What are you going to remember about yeah. 2023? <laughs> uh, I mean, the fourth quarter was, you know, a very exhilarating uh, uh, quarter for investors, but you know, to finish the year. So, you know, things are winding down. Secondary activity is slow. We're down to maybe just a couple more deals. But um, you know, last week we saw CPI slow to a 3.1 percent uh, annual rate, followed by uh, Fed Chairman Powell's testimony about uh, you know rate cuts, minus three rate cuts for next year. That really kind of poured fuel on the uh, on an already red hot uh, bond market. So um, you know the as we started the quarter, the uh, ten year was at a four fifty five, which was um, the highest uh, ten year yield since two thousand seven. Uh, today we're at about a three ninety, so sixty five basis point. Uh, rally there, pretty powerful, and and uh, Muni's actually outperformed uh, over that period. So um, the ten-year and thirty-year uh, AAA benchmark yield that that uh, people uh, in our market follow are actually lower by about uh, eighty-five basis points. So uh, you had a um, you know that's put Muni ratios, which is how people kind of look at the relative attractiveness versus Treasuries at at relatively. Uh, low levels, um, and uh, so it's been a very fourth quarter uh, has been a very kind of friendly environment for issuers. We've seen almost uh, about 98 billion uh, in the fourth quarter. That's up 40 percent, 41 percent from the same quarter last year, and uh, so it's you know really uh, just a very very strong bond market. And looking ahead to next year, a lot of the talk among uh, muni strategists, you know, there's not much uh, the muni market alone can do about the macroeconomic environment and, and broader trends, but they can talk about technical factors, supply and demand inside the muni market. Let's start by talking about uh, demand. Um, in 2022, we have saw massive outflows all year long. Uh, ICI uh, aggregated that to outflows of $120 billion from municipal mutual funds. Uh, for this year, uh, you still have outflows, and we've continued to see outflows the last couple of weeks, uh, much lower scale, down about seven Seven and a half billion for the year. Um, do you think there's an opportunity for that to, to switch in the next couple of weeks as, as investors uh, appreciate the, the gains that have been made over the last, yeah. last quarter? Yeah, I mean, it's a good point. I've, I've been somewhat surprised. You had another uh, weekly outflow this week. Um, uh, the market is certainly behaving like there's plenty of, of money on the sidelines. I think that uh, you've had you know, some kind of that 5% cash uh, sitting around that's getting uh, deployed uh, further out the curve to try to lock in what are, you know, historically still pretty high uh, yields for muni. So, um, yeah, uh, and there's also kind of a, a reallocation, it seems, that the mutual funds continue to lose a little bit of money, but I think that money stays in the market going to a combination of ETFs, uh, separately managed accounts are very popular. Um, a very popular place for uh, for investors. So I think there's still a lot of money in the market. I'd say mutual funds uh, have been bearing the brunt of some of the uh, outflows. And looking ahead to supply for next year, a lot of forecasts that'll be up uh, maybe in the scale of 10, a little bit of more than 10% uh, next year. A couple of the, the tailwinds behind the market are the fact that there were you know, significant numbers of bonds approved by voters this year. I was just looking at the numbers uh, for 2023, $109 billion of bonds on ballots nationwide. A lot of them in the Southwest were approved by voters. So that's kind of a built-in supply that's going to come to market, not all next year, but in, in the coming years. And we're starting to see some of the spillover where people are using municipal bonds to invest in infrastructure alongside uh, the federal government, some of the, the outflows uh, of the IIJA, the infrastructure law. Uh, one transaction that BAM insured this year for the Greater Texoma Utility Authority down in Texas, $200 million transaction uh, in June. Uh, that was a bond buyer deal of the year winner, uh, followed up by another $200 uh, million just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, those transactions are to finance uh, water and wastewater uh, treatment facilities for uh, new semiconductor plants, again, tied directly to the Inflation Reduction Act. So you know, a real partnership between municipal issuers and the uh, federal government in terms of promoting infrastructure, which should flow back into the market in the, in the form of supply. And uh, right. it sounds like you think that the uh, the buyers will open it. We, we open to it. I think so. Uh, obviously, there's still the, um, you know, the whole uh, 
kind of, uh, you know, we've gone from the higher for longer sort of investor sentiment to now much more talk of a soft landing. So, you know, you, you hear the Fed talking about three to four rate cuts starting in, in April. That's usually something, that's usually a narrative that's associated with, you know, talk of a recession. And uh, I think that uh, there is a growing consensus that they're going to be able to kind of nail this landing where you get softer employment, you get uh, uh, GDP still um, kind of bottoming out at 1% or just under 1%. And, uh, and that would be a, a nifty trick if they can pull that off. But even in the context of a soft landing, uh, you know, with between the uh, impacts of a slightly, somewhat slower economy and uh, federal money dwindling on municipal balance sheets, we're likely to talk more about municipal credit in the coming year. Certainly, from the bond insurance perspective, that's a, a conversation our uh, analysts are, are right to have. Yep, and uh, we certainly agree with that. We think it's going to be rather than the last two years where rates have been kind of the story for bonds. We do think that. Um, that we will get some macro uh, economic slowing, uh, you know, even in that kind of 1%, I think 2025, they're like 1.7%. So again, that's, you know, um, uh, that's slower growth. And you're already seeing some of the state, uh, California, uh, um, with a, a big deficit sure. projected for next year. So we'll see more of that. And, and so I think expectations, um, uh, credit expectations will shift. Well, Grant, thanks for your insights today and all year long. Thanks to your team uh, for, for being with us weekly. Uh, thanks to you for watching. We will uh, see you in 2024. Thanks, Mike.